Hey everybody, this is Pajama Prime talking at you about Spider-Man 3 movie Venom. Venom is the byproduct, I guess you could say, of a rejected symbiote, uh, rejected by Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man. Uh, and the ex-photographer, well, the photographer who just got fired from the Daily Bugle, um, Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock Jr. to be exact. I like how they use that anime or the, the ultimate reference. Um, Eddie Brock Jr. in the Ultimate Spider-Man comics was the son of Eddie Brock Jr. or Senior, who worked with um, Parker, uh, Peter Parker's dad, Richard Parker, um, on a suit, a suit that was supposed to cure cancer. But it got too dangerous, so they stopped the experiment. And when a Brock and Peter Parker kind of met up, they were talking about. Apparent turns out that Eddie was working on the suit, and then Peter kind of went into the lab and stole it. And it well stole it in the in the way that it bonded to Spider-Man, and he immediately didn't like it was making him go crazy and so he wanted to return it but then Brock saw him um, returning it and figured out he was Spider-Man and um, blamed him for stealing and I think it lost him his job or some lost him Brock's job um, and Parker told him to get rid of it or said he was going to get rid of it and Eddie was like, okay, fine, I see you. He was very upset, but then he, then he kind of went into the back room and said, oh, I always keep a second second uh, sample, and then he bonded with that sample and became Venom. But that's not quite how we see this Venom. This Venom is more related to the original comic uh, Venom, or the animated Venom from from the 1996 show, or even the new Sensational Spider-Man. Sorry, I hear people coming. And even Sensational Spider-Man takes from Ultimate as well, saying that Eddie's dad. And Peter's dad worked together on something. They both died in a plane crash together and they are sort of, sort of brothers. They consider them each other brothers until everything happens. Um, okay, so on to, on to Venom. Uh, he's pretty much the same thing. The same dealio as Spider-Man. Only slightly better articulation. Slightly. Um, the head still goes all the way around. And the ball joint is slightly better as it goes, can go a bit more, can uh, raise his head a little bit more. Still rotates at the shoulder, or yes, rotates out at the shoulder. It's a little bit harder to get his joints moving. I don't know why. Goes that far. And he now has a, this Venom has a double jointed shoulder, uh, elbow. And he has wrist articulation. Same on this hand. Wrist. Double jointed elbow. Shoulder. Eh. The Venom's legs go all the way around. They sort of bend at the knee, not really though, um, or bend at the hip, double jointed at the knees, and again no f ankle articulation. Um, now, oh, and the chest articulation, 360 degrees, not nearly as difficult to move him on, at the chest as it is Spider-Man. Now, Venom has, and as you can see, his, his feet are kind of molded 
in a way that they're supposed to be bent like this. Cause it's, that's it's difficult to have his, his hand his, put his hands his arms right next to his body because I think that a makes him a little bit more imposing and it's just molded that way. It kind of sucks. The, the body literally blocks the arms from moving any further in and same with the, the feet or the legs they will not go any further than that close they will not go any closer together than that now I believe this venom has wrist articulation specifically to hold his black webbing so that you can get it in, in a particular fashion any way you want. You can put it pretty much in any fingers in any of the holes that are there that are yes, I know, I said that. Deal with it. go. Pretty much position the webbing in any way you want. And yeah, you could easily ensnare Spider-Man in your webbing. Roar. I didn't like this venom. Particularly because, like Megatron in the first movie, in the first Transformers movie, he showed up at like the very end. Like there's all this leading up to Venom, and you're expecting maybe oh, and as soon as he shows up, you maybe say, okay, it's gonna end there. But no, it keeps going. And I would have liked a whole movie dedicated to Venom, personally. Now, I think a lot of people will, would be with me on that one. Um, and he didn't say anything. He didn't even mention his name, if you think about it. He didn't say the whole big giant speech that any Venom will say. We are now poisoned to Spider-Man. We are Venom. That was my attempt at uh, Venom voice from the, um, the, original, the 90s animated show. We are Venom! Eh? Eh? Without the sort of flanging of two, voice, two voices in there that normally Venom would have. Um, I kind of say that every time I kind of look at my uh, Marvel Transformers Venom. Which I'm thinking of buying a few more and turning them into Run Amuck and Run About. Is that their names? No runs Run Amuck, but what's the other one's name? Runabout, run a something. Those two Decepticon twins. I'm thinking of turning some, a bunch of a, a pair of Venoms into that, taking off their head and kit bashing a like maybe a Cybertron Runamuck uh, head on there. Maybe. Tell me what you think about that. Um, let's kind of compare this venom to this venom. Now if you look, there this venom is obviously a little bit shorter, but not by much. I tell you, it'd be difficult to get this venom into a battle suit like that. But I figure they're supposed to be like this big in the battle suit. Um yeah, so here is Movie Venom. This is Pajama Prime, and I'll talk to you later.